When I first started using the iPhone keyboard, I knew I was going to use it for a very long time because it comes with so many interesting features and shortcuts such as Apple Intelligence and all of it really enhances the overall typing experience. So in this video, I will show you how you can set those up and start using it. So first off, I will switch on the Wi-Fi as I will be accessing the internet later on. And let's head back to the home screen and I will tap on Safari over here. And right now we are on apple.com. So I'll just tap on the URL and I'll remove the domain extension. Okay, and I'll show you how you can add in. You just tap and hold the period symbol. And we have a list of common domain extension over here. So you can just go ahead and choose them. So as you can see over here, the list is quite limited. We only have a few domain extensions. If you want to add in more, you have to add in a new keyboard. So let's go and add in a new keyboard over here. We'll search for keyboard. We'll tap on this. And we'll tap on keyboards and right now we have two keyboards we'll add in a new one we'll go for the uk keyboard okay we'll tap on this so now we have three keyboards and we'll have the domain extension related to the uk keyboard let's have a look okay and there you go we got dot uk and dot eu so this is how you can easily add a domain extension into your keyboard Next, let's move on to another interesting feature. I'll just uh, go back to the home screen and I'll search for Zoom. We'll just uh, type that in. Okay, and yes, uh, that is the one. We'll just uh, tap on it. Okay, and I'll switch on Zoom. I'll just zoom out first. And we'll just keep smart typing off. We'll see what happens when this switch is turned off. Okay, we'll go to the Note app and we'll tap on the center. And let's zoom in and we'll shift up left a little and as you can see here we are not seeing the keyboard below so that is uh, because the smart typing option is not being turned on okay and let's switch it on let's head back and we'll zoom in shift left and there you go the keyboard is now visible and you can just type it in so as you type in more inputs of text, the window actually moves and if you remove the words, it actually move left. So this is how flexible it is to use smart typing. So we'll just zoom out and we'll head back to the settings to turn off the zoom option. Okay, now that we have seen two features, let's proceed on to the next one. The upcoming feature involves the use of Apple Intelligence. So ensure that your device has been updated to the latest iOS 18.2. Okay, so we just tap on writing tools and we'll look for compose. So over here, we'll be getting ChatGPT to generate an output for us. Our prompt here will be why it's so good about having smartphones. So just some tips for you as you type in those prompts, ensure that you are concise and not overly elaborated. Otherwise, the model might be confused over your inputs. So let's proceed on to type in that input. Okay, I'll send it across and we'll just give it a few moments. And very quickly, we have the output here. So ChatGPT actually elaborated very clearly for us. If you'd like to refine it, you can just uh, type it in over here. We just get ChatGPT to shorten it. We want a uh, summarized version of the current output. And there we have it very quickly. We also have this summarized version, very concise straight to the point and there are also some suggestions here by ChatGPT on how you can follow up let's add some statistics we'll send it across okay let's give it a few moments so the top part remains the same and it's only the bottom where we have the addition of the statistics so this is how you can refine and continuously improve on your output there are also two arrows below that allows you to undo and redo to switch around versions. So you can just uh, tap on those to revert to your previous versions. So now let's move on to the next feature. I will just uh, hit return over here and we'll look for the emoji icon is below here. Okay. And let's type in something that is not commonly seen over here. Let's go for a cut on a chair. So this is something that we don't have in our standard emoji list. So we'll have to get Apple Intelligence to generate a new one for us. So let's have a look. 
so we'll just uh, give it a few moments for it to create a new one so there we have it so there are multiple variations of this uh, prompt that we have input so I'll just have a look I prefer the first one actually so we just select the first one and there you go we have the emoji in our notes app so this is how easy you can create a new emoji with just a single sentence so now let's move on to create some images we'll select the image playground over here and image playground will actually make use of the words from our above text so in this case it's about the smartphones to generate for us so we have a few variations of smartphones so you can just uh, remove these prompts as you like I'll just tap on this image to add into our notes app and there you have it so it's looking good right now we have the text we have emojis we also have images I have to say this is a very complete entry that we have in the notes app here we have the text we have emoji we have the images everything is over here so now let me show you another feature it's also very interesting we'll just type in something first I love iPhones for instance I'll show you how you can very easily undo and redo okay so now that we have this sentence here to undo you all you have to do is to use your three fingers and just swipe left I'm not very good at this so I'll just give it a few more tries okay and there we have it so this is how you undo to redo you just uh, swipe right instead and there we have it I love iPhones is right there so this is how you can undo and redo using this feature so now let's move on to the next feature I'll show you how you can hover around your text in the paragraphs above very easily so let's just tap towards the top and we'll tap and hold the space bar and all you have to do move up move down move left and right so this is how you can hover very easily from your keyboard okay let's now move on to the next tip that I have if you prefer your phone to have some form of a feedback as you type in onto your keyboard there is also an option to do so so we'll just uh, look for keyboard over here we'll just search it okay keyboard feedback so this one we tap on it so you can choose to turn sound on or you can even choose to turn haptic on so you have some form of a vibration but generally I like to keep both of them off as uh, it is a bit draining on the battery and it is just dependent on your own preference if you prefer to have them both on then you can just do so I'll just switch it off and also there are many other keyboard uh, settings that you can have a look at you can turn them on or off as you like okay so at the top we have this one-handed keyboard if you want to use your left hand or right hand just type you can just uh, tap on these options so we have many switches here you can choose to slide to type smart punctuation and when you make these changes immediately it will be reflected so let's just type here if you double tap space you have this punctuation a period being added this is the end of the video and I hope you like it